This video will describe the various sources of help information for MetaX. Uh, the first place to look if you have a question is to click on the help button on the toolbar. Uh, it provides you with the current version you're running, a way to contact me. It uh, gives you a way to manually check for updates if you don't have the preference set to do this automatically. Uh, it allows you to register your copy of MetaX. Uh, MetaX does cost $9.95 to use. So if you want to use it, uh, you can go to the website, which is at the bottom here, and uh, click the Buy Now button, and you will get a registration username and registration code back via email that you enter via this link. Uh, there is an online forum if you want to search and see if someone's had the same problem or if you want to post something about a problem, plus there are all these videos. But the first place to go is the online help. It provides a lot of <coughs> information about how you enter information, the different data sources that are available, uh, how you can use uh, MedX to very simply tag uh, TV episodes. Uh, and about all the different features and all the different preferences. So if you have a question, this is definitely the first place to look. Uh, so this is just some of the uh, available help for the program. MetaX is a program that greatly simplifies the process of tagging your movie files with information that will allow them to display in uh, your media player, iTunes, Apple TV, Front Row. Uh, there are three sections of the main screen of MetaX. The Write queue, which are the files you're working on. The Search Results queue, which shows you information from the different sources such as Amazon.com, TagChimp, the MovieDB, the TVDB. Uh, and then the center area, which actually displays all the information separated into tabs. So to open a movie, uh, there's a normal file open dialog, and you can also do a drag and drop into the right queue. Uh, you're asked what type of file it is. Selecting the right file here will allow MetaX to search the appropriate data sources. So we'll say this is a TV show. You'll see that there are no tags in the file, uh, MetaX will take the file name and try and turn it into a title as well as a search uh, criteria. Because this particular file name has S and a number and E and a number, MetaX assumes that's the season number and episode number if it's a TV show. So now we're going to search for some information. We're going to say this is an episode of House. We enter that search term and we begin getting search results. Uh, if it has a TV in front of it, that's from the, the tvdb.com data source. A tag says it's from TagChimp. And a little Amazon emblem says it's from Amazon. Now for TVDB, to select this, you have to have a season number and episode number selected so it knows which episode to get the information from. So when we click this, you'll see it fills in all the information, shows you the episode ID, the network, everything that was available. There was no chapter information. On the cover art, if you want to see that, you can uh, expand that and make it bigger. Uh, you'll notice there's status at the bottom. Uh, you can double click this and it will bring up the status and you see there's some tag chimp. Uh, data problems there. There's a checkbox by every entry, every field, and that's used for two things. If the box is not checked, that field won't be written out to the file. If it is checked, it locks that. So I can now change data entries and nothing changes because all these fields are locked. But Let's say I like most of the fields, but not the short description. I can uncheck just that one, and then when I select a different entry, I get information from there. So you can mix and match the various uh, fields from different data sources. You'll also no notice next to search, there's a little drop down for country in case you want to use a uh, 
different Amazon country site for just this one search. If you want to use it for all searches, there's a preference, and we'll go into that on the video on preferences. Once you have everything the way you like it, you've got all the checkbox checked, you click the right, it immediately writes everything out to the file. If we then go back and open that file again, you'll see all the information is there. So that's just how easy it is to take your movie file and have it display professionally on your movie servers. Uh, we'll go into more detail on different videos on many of the other options that can make tagging your movies easy.